And right now, a Milwaukee family preparing to host a candlelight vigil after their loved one was killed in a crash. It is the second deadly crash at Servite Drive and Brown Deer Road so far this year. 12 News reporter Emily Polfall is live at the intersection for us tonight. Emily, these two crashes are very similar. Yes, Iria. Police say that both of those crash and crashes happened was while a driver was trying to turn left in the intersection here. You can also see that there's debris and car parts all over the sidewalk here from last night's crash. Milwaukee police say that early Saturday morning, a 19 year old driver traveling east on Brown Deer Road slammed into a 56 year old driver traveling west, trying to turn left on North Servite Drive. Police say the crash killed the 56 year old family identified her as Valina Alexander. Officers arrested the 19 year old driver and referred charges to the district attorney's office. There was another fatal crash at this intersection back in January. Court documents say 19 year old I call riot was going 86 miles an hour east on Brown Deer Road. 32 year old Monique Stewart was in a van trying to turn left south onto Servite Drive when the cars collided. Stewart and her unborn baby were killed. Ryak is charged with killing them. She was just like one of a kind, you know. You just couldn't imagine something tragic like this happening to her. The little boy that was being born, she was just looking forward to that. She was really looking forward to holding her son. Emily Alexander's family is getting ready to hold a vigil there later tonight. Yeah, and as family and friends get ready for that vigil here tonight, there's still this memorial up for the other woman killed, Monique Stewart, that happened at this location, the crash in January. Emily Polfall reporting for us live. Thank you, Emily.